A text without a context is just a pretext for whatever you want it to mean. We have a problem in dealing with ancient texts. It has been said that the past is like a foreign country. They do things differently there. The texts function very differently in an oral culture than they do in a culture of texts like ours. They function very differently That's indeed. True. But what we do know is that when you get to the book of Judges, you find that there's this growing nemesis, uh, namely the Philistines, a growing nemesis for the Israelites. You read about them in the days of, of Samson. You read about them in, in the book of 1 Samuel when and that's really what prompts Israel to ask for a king. We want a king like the other nations, primarily because the Philistines were a growing power, and as their population grows, their need for more agricultural lands, more natural resources, and that's why you have this friction between Judah and Philistia. We'll show you a map. Now, just to see this in a bit of topography, when we think of the area, you can see the hill country of Judah, and, of course, Benjamin is the area where King Saul was from and David and his family from Judah. And uh, it's, again, in this valley, just in this transitional zone between the hill country and what we call the Shephelah, the, the lower hills as you lead down into the coastal plain, which is the Philistine heartland. So you have the Philistines heading into this area from Gath and Ekron, as you can see here. A little closer look, and you can see how this would have worked out with the forces of King Saul coming down uh, to take their place. Here is Soko, Azekah, and the Philistines would have come from these two locations, Ekron and Gath, and probably this would represent where David would have come as he traveled to the battlefront to visit his brothers and help bring food and so on for them. I want to start by talking about what Bible scholars have said about this phenomenon of forgery in the ancient world. One bit of background information that I suppose you, you do need is that there are a lot of texts from the ancient world that claim to be written by people who in fact did not write them. And you, you all are familiar with some of these texts, most of you are. Uh, for example, we have Gospels that claim to be written by Peter or by Mary Magdalene or by Judas Iscariot, or by, so we have these gospels that in fact claim to be written by people who did not write them. Well, that's what I mean, that's what I mean by a forgery. And I want to start by talking about what scholars have said about this uh, phenomenon of forgery, which is fairly prominent in the ancient world. 